you say when? Go? Okay. Good evening and welcome, welcome. My name is John Rutherford and uh, welcome to the uh, Rotary Performing Arts Center in beautiful downtown Okotoks. So oh, what a pleasure it is to be back in the, uh, in the GOA. It's nice to be here. Uh, this fine theater, the uh, Rotary Performing Arts Center in Okotoks is a space that I, I enjoy being in. And uh, again, I wanna welcome you to this little corner of the earth that I've carved out. Uh, here on the stage of the RPAC. Um, and a, a special night. Uh, I've played here on many occasions before. We've always had wonderful audiences. And uh, tonight, well, we're, we're at capacity. We are uh, uh, at the limits that are permitted by, uh, by, by, the, by the authorities. And um, well, we've had to lock the doors. There were people that were trying to get in. And uh, well, we, the, the doors are bolted, and uh, therefore we've got the jumbotron out in the parking lot for those who were not able to attend or not able to uh, get in tonight. And uh, we're broadcasting around the world on the internet, so I welcome you and thank you for being here. Um, I've got a, a about a 45-50 minute set planned for you, and I'm going to play various guitars and some different songs, some new things. I've brought along my uh, my very own band. I have some uh, electronics on the floor here that I uh, have employed for the evening to uh, to help out. As I say, this is a brand new song that I've uh, just completed uh, writing very recently. It's uh, uh, planned to be well the single off my new album, due for release in 2021. And um, this is the first, this is the premier performance to the world. I've not played this beyond, uh, you know, beyond the backyard and the, uh, and the garage, uh, which I think is a common occurrence for many musicians recently. So pleased to be able to unveil this one to you. This is called Fell for the Blues. <laughs> Oh, 
I was head over heels, there was nothing I could do. Can't help myself, you know I fell for the blues and I... I fell for the blues, I fell for the blues. Heard the music, it was love at first sound. Old blues record turned way up loud and I... I fell for the blues, I fell for the blues. The first time I felt it, chills run up my spine. And that's when I knew the blues would be mine. The blues would be mine. Well, I had a pretty girl, you know, she said you treat me right. She's lying and cheating, staying out all night And right then I knew I fell for the blues I fell for the blues Well, I've been reading and writing Go to school I've learned some lessons, baby I ain't no fool, but I I'm a fool for the blues I'm a fool for the blues just like Bobby Blue Bland said. The first time I felt it, chills run up my spine. And that's when I knew the blues would be mine. Yeah, the blues would be mine. Ah, the king of the blues, yeah, he's playing his guitar. Friday night show under the stars, and I, I fell for the blues. Yes, I fell for the blues. Because I was head over heels. There's nothing I could do. Can't help myself, you know, I fell for the blues. I fell for the blues, I fell for the blues. for the blues a brand new one for you still working on it but uh, looking forward to recording that well 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 let's see uh, all right well I, I was looking through my repertoire and uh, you know I haven't played a lot of uh, a lot of gigs in the last few months and uh, so I've been working on mostly new material and I uh, looked into the back catalog and uh, tried to think of a few things that might be appropriate for a performance of this sort and I thought that this uh, song that was written by a friend of mine uh, his name is Bob Snyder and he was a, or is a, a, a absolutely a wonderful Canadian singer uh, and songwriter uh, capable of uh, tremendous humor in his in his work uh, as well as being able to really touch a soft spot in the heart uh, with uh, some very touching and loving um, uh, songs as well. Um, but uh, a, a songwriter who began his career uh, busking on the streets of Toronto and was discovered by um, some uh, musicians in the, the city of Toronto and ended up signing a major record deal with EMI and released uh, several wonderful records uh, on that label. And uh, this is a song from his very first record, uh, on EMI, uh, an album called Catterwall and Doggerel. I just love the name of the album as much as anything. Uh, but this is a song from that record, 
And I thought it uh, perhaps uh, very appropriate uh, for these uh, odd times we live in in 2020 during COVID-19 in that uh, I think a lot of people have spent a great deal of time in their kitchens of recent. Well, I just sit in the kitchen, my favorite thing to do. Well, I just sit in the kitchen, my favorite thing to do. Well, you can dine at the Ritz or you can lay in the beach. But I like having everything right in reach. Cause I just sit in the kitchen, yes, my favorite thing to do. Well, I just sit in the kitchen, my favorite place to be. I just looking out the window, admiring the scenery. You got smokestacks here, you got the elevator there, you got those television aerials, you know, everywhere, of course. Cause I just sit in the kitchen, yeah, my favorite thing to do. Well, my little kitchen's got everything I require. I got a pot on the stove and a light bulb hanging on a wire. With soup on simmer and the lights down low, you know I got myself a dimmer and a even glow. Cause I just sit in the kitchen, yeah. The my favorite place to be. I like sitting in the kitchen. I was thinking about going out once and then I thought, no, nah, I'll throw a party instead. There was dancing in the living room, all the coats on the bed. Yeah, radio played the music, well, room, I played the host. As long as I didn't have to leave the place I liked the most, because I was sitting in the kitchen, yeah. That's where I was all night long. Well, I was sitting in the kitchen just uh, wailing on an old guitar. I was thinking about becoming the world's biggest rock and roll star, yeah. Well, I'd give it a shot, baby, yeah, lose a win. But I don't think I could fit everybody in because I just sitting in the kitchen, yes. Uh, my favorite place to be, sitting in the kitchen. Ah, well, uh, sitting in that kitchen, you know, it's built just right for two. Well, I'm sitting in the kitchen. Yeah, my kitchen's built just right for me and you. Yeah. Well, I'll pick up a pizza from the joint up the street. You know, I, I hate to cook, but uh, I love to eat. Yeah, sitting in the kitchen yeah, is my favorite place to be. Ah, yeah, sitting in the kitchen, yeah, yeah, my favorite place to be. I just sitting in the kitchen, my favorite place to be. You just come over to my place any old time and come up on the side door. Give it a knock. You just come right on in the kitchen and have a coffee. Yeah. That was written by Bob Snyder. Bob Snyder. Yeah. Sitting in the kitchen. Well, as I try out these various instruments, I thought I'd also uh, I'd play my ukulele for a song here. Ukulele is a wonderful instrument to be sitting around the house playing. Currently teaching my young daughter to play ukulele. That's one of our COVID school projects in grade four. So this is a song that was uh, written by my dad, Ed Rutherford. 
Um, my dad's a pretty uh, uh, poignant songwriter and uh, tends to write things that really do stand the test of time. Uh, this song was written well over a decade ago, maybe even 20 years ago now, uh, when I was speaking with my father and we were talking about the ukulele and, um, and uh, the fact that I'd been playing ukulele when I was a young lad, uh, but then took up guitar and he said, well, you know, you, you should play the ukulele again. People love the uke. And I said, well, you know, I, I'm a bit of a blues man, you know. I like to think of myself as a, a blues guy. And I don't think there's any blues songs written for the ukulele. So he wrote this one for me, and uh, it's called My Ukulele Helps Me Beat the Blues. I think it works rather well these days. When I wake up and find the world's in trouble Hear the problems on the morning news When me and this old world were feeling badly My ukulele helps me beat the blues When I'm just keep winning Everything I do I seem to lose When me and this old world were feeling sadly my ukulele helps me beat the blues yeah, When I sing and play, the dark clouds float away A warm and tender sun begins to shine yeah, When I sing and play, it starts a brand new day Suddenly this dear old world's all mine So in spite of these old shabby clothes I'm wearing I'm happy from my hat down to my shoes yeah, me and this old world, we've got no problems Cause my ukulele helps me beat the blues You know my ukulele helps me beat the blues Yeah, written by Ed Rutherford, that's uh, my ukulele helps me beat the blues Yeah, thank you very much I do appreciate it Well, let's see, what else is on the list here? Oh, yes. Let's do this one. This is a song I wrote and released on a record a few years back, called, a record called Echo Broadcast. It was a big hit, sold well under a million copies. Uh, this song could fall into the uh, category of uh, the genre of uh, perhaps um, COVID-19 um, regrettables. Uh, this is all about hanging out at a, a smoky, sweaty, loud blues club. Um, a, a little old joint in Calgary that, uh, well, it shut down in 2004 and has reopened under an, uh, sort of a new guise. But uh, I speak of the legendary King Edward Hotel in Calgary a place where I kind of cut my teeth as a, um, an eager and learning guitarist. Got to meet and uh, learn a bit from uh, many of the great, great blues legends who performed at the King Edward Hotel on a regular basis for many, many years. When it shut down in 2004, uh, I wrote this song in, uh, in memory of the... Uh, in memory of the days at the Eddy. Just gotta get my band to work correctly here. Corner of Ninth and Fourth under the neon sign. I just looking for a good time over here on the bad side of town. Saints and sinners congregate where the blues resound. I just looking for a good time over here on the bad side of town. 
our regulars and musicians get in ahead of the line. Now stick with me, baby. We'll find ourselves a good time here on a bad side of town. Our famous Amos and Champagne Joe, you know, they're always hanging round, always looking for a good time over here on a bad side of town. Shake it, don't break it, just mess it around. It feels so right, you know it's gotta be wrong. I'm just looking for a good time over here on a bad side of town. I meet me at the corner of 9th and 4th under the neon sign. I'm just looking for a good time over here on the bad side. Right here on the sad side, right here on the bad side. Yeah, looking for a good time on the bad side of town. I wrote that one. Well, uh, it, it appears to be about halfway through the show, so I would think time for an intermission. Time for an intermission. Um, refresh your drinks. Uh, visit the restroom. And, uh, well, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll get a little ditty going here that uh, give us a bit of intermission music, if you will. <laughs> something here. All right, I thought these guys were a bargain. All right, we'll try this one again here. We're going to take an intermission, folks, and uh, I'll leave you with this here. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh.
show will resume momentarily. Please take your seat. Welcome back. Welcome back, folks. Thank you so much. We are into the second half of the program. And let's see, what shall we play? Hmm. Uh, I, I spoke of my daughter uh, briefly uh, in that uh, we're working on uh, ukulele lessons at home. Uh, she's very interested in music and uh, what I'm up to uh, with my playing and, and my work. And uh, recently for Father's Day, I, I, requested, uh, I requested this wonderful uh, brand new book about uh, the great blues legend Robert Johnson. Uh, called Brother Robert. It was written by a stepsister of his who spent uh, some time with him uh, briefly when she was young, sort of sporadically as he made his way back and forth from um, Memphis, uh, where he was, uh, where, his, where some, uh, some semblance of his family uh, lived. But at any rate, I, it's a wonderful book, sort of an addendum to uh, the really complete story of Robert Johnson called Up Jump the Devil that was released a, a year or two ago. Uh, and really documents his life both from the sort of um, mytholo mythological and legendary perspective, but also uh, touches, uh, touches on some of the more personal uh, moments of his life. But this book really um, delves into that sort of more personal and family side and really paints a very different picture of Robert Johnson. Um, so a, a wonderful gift at Father's Day, and I uh, raced through it in about three or four days. It was uh, so compelling. Um, and I thought I'd play a Robert Johnson for you, song for you. Incidentally, my, my daughter, she's becoming ever so hip, and uh, when I ask her, who's Robert Johnson, she smugly sets a hand on her hip and says, king of the Delta blues singers, duh. Anyway, we're raising her right, we're raising her right, you know. 
All right, this is one that Robert Johnson wrote, atypical of must much of his material, but one of my favorites. This is called uh, They're Red Hot, and it goes just like this. I do. <laughs> yeah, hot tamales and a red hot, yeah. Ain't you got a for sale? Hot tamales and a red hot, yeah. Ain't you got a Mercedes? I said two for a nickel, got four for a dime. I says I would sell you more, but baby, ain't none of mine. Yeah, hot tamales and the red hot, yeah. Ain't you got a Mercedes? Yeah, pop tamales and the red hot, yeah. Ain't you got a Mercedes? Hot tamales and the red hot, yeah. Ain't you got a Mercedes? I said, me, my baby, bought the V8 Ford. You know she runs that thing all on the running boards, yeah. Hot tamales and the red hot, yeah. Ain't you got them for sale? Eat me pop tamales and the red hot, yeah. All my baby's got them for sale, yeah. Hot tamales and the red hot, yeah. Ain't you got them for sale? I said, Grandma laughs, and now Grandpa, too, says, Wonder what on earth us children gonna do, yeah. Hot tamales and red hot, yeah. Ain't you got them for sale? At the red hot, yeah, got that for sale. Hot tamales and the red hot, yeah, ain't you got it for sale? I said, I know a girl says she's long and tall, yeah, he sleeps in the kitchen with her feet in the hall. Well, hot tamales and the red hot, yeah, ain't you got that for sale? Eat me pop tamales and the red hot, yeah, I'm a baby, got that for sale. Hot tamales and the red hot, yeah. All my baby's got them for sale. I said the Billy go bumping to the bumblebee's nest. He said ever since then he can't get no rest. You well, are hot tamales and the red hot, yeah. Ain't you got them for sale? Yeah, you got them for sale. And the red hot, yeah. Yeah, the red hot. Robert Johnson. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yes, well, as I mentioned earlier, we have a, a capacity house this evening. And uh, I want to thank you all for attending. You know, it's, uh, it's great to have you here. In fact, I want to thank you all individually. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Well, let's see. couple more. All right, this is another one that I wrote and uh, it appeared on a record on the Echo Broadcast recording of several years back. tune this uh, very quickly here. Sometimes the capo can put things out quite quickly. things considerably. The Hoodoo Man, this is called. Mm. 
I got away with words I could feel these strings Make you believe When you hear me sing Power persuasion Slight a hand A cure what ails you I'm a hoodoo man I'm a hoodoo man Chase away the blues I'll get you through the night I got everything Make you feel all right About Right here in these arms Everything you need Got my hidden charms I'm a hoodoo man At the crossroads, believe I'm sinking down. Gonna find your love. I'm a hoodoo man. I'm a hoodoo man. I'm a hoodoo man. Oh, yeah.
Thank you very much. <coughs> oh, let's see here. I think I got a time for a couple more. Uh, this is n this is another brand new song. Uh, again, never performed in public or uh, in private before, uh, or uh, online before. And uh, this one actually relates to my daughter as well. I don't mean to go on about her all through the show, but uh, I've been spending lots and lots of time together lately, and she's uh, in the uh, the online schooling uh, program uh, that's uh, become necessary and popular. Uh, but she's eight years old, as I mentioned, uh, and in grade four, and uh, she is, uh, I've been watching her over the years slowly develop uh, a, a kind of a, a way of expressing herself, an attitude, uh, a great deal of, uh, of sass and uh, expression, and, and she finds so many uh, vehicles to express herself. Uh, and as she matures and grows and learns, I, I'm constantly noting uh, these little um, uh, uh, vehicles of expression that she that she uh, latches onto, all of which we, we do. But um, you know, it's it's that wonderful uh, moment of of discovery for an eight-year-old. And this is one of the uh, this is one of the uh, real uh, noticeable um, developments over the years. Uh, this one's called. The walk. She got the walk, she got the talk. Yeah, it all adds up to a lot. She likes to shimmy and she could shake. Of which this whole thing, I just don't know what to make. Well, I don't know that she could stroll. She got the walk. Why, well, she got a look, it's her own style. But it's the walk that catch the eye. Yeah, she got moves with attitude. Knows what she's got and what to do. As she walks away, she don't look back. She got the walk. Well, she got boots. They're made for walking. Now they walk all over you. High-heeled sneakers when she goes dancing. When she goes dancing to the blues, ah, she got my barefootin'. She got the walk. boots they're made for walking now they walk all over you she high heel sneakers when she goes dancing when she goes dancing to the blues yeah she goes striding she got those sidings she got the walk she got the walk she got the talk yeah it all adds up to a lot knows how to shimmy while she could shake Of which this whole thing I just don't know what to make All I know Is she could stroll She got the walk, she got the walk She got the walk Yeah, she got that walk The Walk. Thank you very much. Another song in preparation for a new record. Well, I think we'll wrap things up here. This, is a, this has been a real treat, and I, I do want to thank uh, everybody here at the, the Rotary Performing Arts Center and uh, the Town of Okotoks Arts and Cultural Division for uh, programming such uh, fine work in uh, not only this space but throughout the uh, Town of Okotoks. And we also want to thank TD Bank for their sponsorship of this very program. Thanks, TD. 
And uh, I also want to thank uh, taking care of sound and uh, and camera, and um, my, uh, my my audience support, uh, Kyle Rigi, for helping out. Thanks, Kyle. Really appreciate it. And again, once uh, uh, thank everybody in the room uh, uh, tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Real pleasure having you here. And uh, to all those folks out in the parking lot who uh, couldn't get in tonight, uh, we, we apologize. We hit capacity. We weren't able to let anybody else in. We had to lock the doors. But uh, hopefully you've been watching online, watching out in the parking lot, and uh, staying with us. I really do appreciate that. Uh, my name is John Rutherford. You can check out my work at John Rutherford, or sorry, John R. Music. Dot com. We'll see you again sometime soon, perhaps uh, right here on the, on the internet. Who knows? <laughs>
I think won't be the same. It won't be the same. Once again, thank you so much for having me here at the Rotary Performing Arts Center in beautiful downtown Okotoks. Be sure to tune in for all the artists in this series. Our pack at home. Stay healthy, stay safe. Wear a mask. Wash your hands. And back off, you know, stay away from me, huh? Like, give me some space, give me some room. Ah, yeah. Next time you see me. Thanks once again. I'm John Rutherford. We'll catch you again soon. Bye-bye.